You see this? I woke up this morning and decided to make a painting station in my garage. Low key, this is pretty clever, I'd have to say. But the reason I'm doing this is, well, I was supposed to get the rest of the painting done today, but honestly, the weather for the rest of the week is looking atrocious. Today, there's 25 mile an hour winds, so getting this trailer outside to be able to paint was just not gonna happen. The amount of dust and crap that was gonna show up in the paint would have gave me anxiety. So I resorted to this. We're gonna be painting the trailer in the garage. Understand this is not the most ideal way to be doing this. You should have a proper ventilation room and things like that. Unfortunately, I do not. So what I'm gonna be doing here is probably leaving the garage cracked a little bit and I'm gonna try and find a big fan that can kind of blow air out. But for the most part, I'm gonna paint a coat, get out of the garage, let it air out for a bit and then get back in. <sighs> when life hands you lemons, you drink a beer and figure it out. That's what I gotta say. Good news is today we are actually gonna be float testing the boat. Ponds are finally, for the most part, defrosted. I have a buddy who has a pond in the backyard. So what we're gonna try to do here is put this song gun in the bed of my truck, take it to his pond, and see if it leaks or not. We're gonna do a little float test today and figure that out. But first, like I said, we gotta get the trailer finished here. To the tripod. <laughs> Alrighty folks, it is time. We're gonna find out right now if the John boat floats. I got Mike here to help me out. We're gonna attempt to bring this thing in my truck. This is gonna be the most random thing we've ever done, but hey, wouldn't be us if we didn't do something stupid, right? So let's load this guy up. I don't even know if it's gonna fit in the truck, but we're gonna try. Long. And we'll... As long as it's not top curvy. I mean, it stays on its own, so if you strap it, is this... that is so sketchy. <laughs> This is so sketchy. Oh, well boys, I am not proud of this one, but it's for your entertainment, so enjoy. I can't believe I threw this thing in the bed of my truck right now. Oh God, I mean, it's, it's in there. It's more out than it is in, but first time for everything, I guess. Looks one sketchy drive later. So Mike has like a retention pond in his backyard. It might be okay, I don't know. It's the only option we got. So the other thing is we forgot to paddle. So we have a shovel and a rope. It, 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 <laughs> a little slip and slide. This isn't bad. We just haven't had to get it up yet. Do you see all the deer tracks in the ground? <laughs> on the bright side, it's grass. So it's not like bad for the bottom of the boat necessarily. All aboard the SS sink. Hopefully not. Tips right over. Douche. All right, buddy. All aboard. At least we're gonna find out how stable it is too. Oh. It's a little windy, eh? A little bit. That first step. That first step's a little weak. Well, so far so good. It's pretty stable though. All right, we already got a small leak up here. Oh yeah? It looks like it. I mean, it's very, very minor. So if you guys can see right here, it's taking in water right here. I knew it was too good to be true. Look at this, he's using a shovel. <laughs> Alrighty folks, so we've been in here for about 15 minutes or so. What do you say, 20 minutes maybe? Probably. Probably about that. So here's what we figured out. It's leaking. Not bad, but it's leaking like this from all the lining in the boat, the back corners, and then up here is probably the most significant up in here. It's kind of hard to see because the shadows, but this big neck, so shouldn't be anything too crazy hard. I mean, I patched all literally a hole in my John boat, so we're going to have to figure out the best way to kind of do that, but that's good for a 1955. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm gonna get it back in the truck. Good morning, everybody. It's kind of a little confusing. We just went from testing the boat to it being the next day. I've been feeling a little bit under the weather. My stomach has not been agreeing with me. We're alive, we're well. So yesterday, we tested the boat. It does leak in a couple spots. So we're gonna have to get that figured out. Right now, I'm gonna go to Home Depot, pretty much get the rest of the materials that I need to get the rest of this project done. There's a lot of stuff that I don't have here at the house, and it's just about time that I go bulk buy it all. 
I ordered some things on Amazon like wiring, brake lights, reflectors, things like that. Those should be coming in today as well. We're gonna go get a can of primer. We're gonna get black primer. So I've decided, you know, I put about three coats. I'll take you guys in there actually right now. I put about three coats on the trailer as far as paint goes. For the trailer, I ended up doing just spray paint, which it actually looks really good. It's not 100% the way I want it. I want it to look good, but I don't want it to essentially look like it was spray painted, if that makes sense. I want to kind of get away from that look a little bit. So I'm going to try and get some oil-based primer that allows me to kind of just roll onto this trailer to see if we can get, you know, like a shinier, thicker paint look to it. And then I think what we'll end up doing is putting a clear coat. Long story short, I put a lot of work into this, so I want it to last. So here's where we're at with the trailer. So as you guys can see, it looks pretty good. I'm actually really happy with it. This is the first time I'm really taking on painting as a project. This is not something I've ever really done to this extent. So we're going to get this guy finished up today, but uh, we'll get some products. I'll tell you what I bought and we'll go from there. So we're back from Home Depot, another $76 later. I ended up getting some sandpaper, a block for the sandpaper, some rollers, stick for the roller, a little paint tray. We got some spray on primer, some more black paint, clear coat, and some JB Weld. They didn't have the Marine Weld. I've never tried this one out, but we're not even getting to that today. So there you go, 76 bucks for that stuff right there. I'm gonna put a coat of black paint over top just to roll it on there. I've been watching a lot of videos and a lot of people say just rolling this stuff on there works a lot better than the spray paint. So considering I already put three coats of spray paint on there, I'm gonna go ahead and do one more of this stuff just to make it look fine wine. And then from there, I think we're gonna do the fenders and the rest of the trailer. I'm gonna try and patch that stuff up and reuse it, make it look nice. I figured I'd start with this little can right here just to make sure I like the way things look. If this ends up going bad, worst case scenario, back to the drawing board where we sand it down. But uh, this is the exact same color and code as the spray paint can that I was using. So it should go right on there. And there's a chance that it'll look the same as the spray paint, but I'm really curious. So we're gonna pour this stuff out and uh, try it out. All right, well, I take that back. I don't like the roller. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look the same. It's not as consistent. It definitely looks thicker, but I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I'm not using the right roller. I looked at a couple videos here on YouTube of other people and what they did, and it looked really good, but I don't like the look that it's giving me. I liked the can better, so that is exactly why I bought that little can. It cost me four bucks. Big deal. So what we're going to do is we're going to return the big can, which was about $10, and get two more spray paint cans. Put one more final coat on these. I put three already on here, but when you talk about doing every side and both sides like that, it's not as much as you guys think. I don't know, it was just very inconsistent when I was trying to roll it on, so we're not gonna do that. So while we let that dry, and before we go to the store and get more spray paint cans, we're gonna start working on those fenders. We're gonna start sanding those down by hand and trying to get a primed coat on there. Fenders are sanded down and they're primed. There are some spots that you know aren't perfect, so I might have to wet sand those down and repaint it again or reprime it again. There's some spots on there that just, I don't know what the heck the dude put on those fenders. It gets so frustrating sometimes. Some people just, I don't know, I don't know. I just, it is what it is. There was like just gunk on there. Like I'm talking like sticky gunk and I gotta remove it if I can't get it perfect and sand it back down. But a coat of primer, sanding it down might make it a, like a, a light grit might even it out for me, so we might be okay. For the most part at this point, I just gotta wait for paint to dry. It's disgusting outside, so I can't work outside. So we're gonna go ahead and take a break, kinda get out of the paint fumes and just go eat some lunch, probably edit this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it into part two of building this boat. Hopefully by next video, we can move on to the boat pretty much. Maybe we'll even get the trailer put together. There are some things here that I might go ahead and work on off camera, but it's nothing crazy that you guys are gonna miss. But for the most part, 
by next video the goal is to start putting the trailer back together but thank you guys so much for watching hey if you're new here and want to follow this build hit that subscribe button and like this video for me all right Nat, i'll catch you guys next time